we're gonna have a look at uh, Petzolnomic axes. Really, really nice high-end, <laughs> high-end ice axe. They're actually sold and marketed predominantly as a uh, as an ice tool. They are T-rated, which is for technical. So I think a lot of people do use them for dry tooling, even if that's not strictly their intended purpose. But there's a couple of things to kind of be aware of with that. First and foremost is with these, they don't come with a hammer for battering in safety protection. They don't have an ads either out the box, uh, which is really useful for things like sort of clearing snow, things like that, or maybe a bit of a uh, step cutting action if you have to. The Nomics are a really kind of technical ice tool, whereas something like this, this is the Quark. Um, quark. It's a bit less aggressive and probably actually a bit of a better if you only had one axe to try and do everything with. You can do quite a bit of walking and stuff with uh, with just one of these. The shape of the Nomic is uh, a lot more aggressive, as is the uh, handle at the bottom. General use, I'd say the Quark's probably more than good enough, but it's worth knowing about that and then making sure you get a tool that, that suits what you're trying to do. So perhaps like a, a walking axe is obviously more suitable for walking and this is a, a more top end sort of bit of kit. Apart from that, another thing is if you're using leashes, that, that hole for the carabiner is actually really awkward. So I've got, Dave's got a set of Nomics here. Um, you see these are pretty well used. He's actually had to add in a little cord loop there so he can more easily attach his leashes, which is again, something to be aware of if you're going to use them a lot. Yeah, a really nice high-end tool from Petzl.